mainstream media making a pig's ear of things as usual. They reported that um, there was uh, a man had been charged with the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. Turns out that nobody's been charged. And what's actually happened is Portuguese police have made Christian Bruckner, the German rapist, a Arguido. Now, Arguido was the same thing that uh, Kate and Jerry were made. And I don't see, didn't see anybody then claiming that Kate and Jerry McCann had been charged. But of course, mainstream media are desperate for the German patsy as uh, Gonzalo Amaral, the former Portuguese police coordinator, said that there would be a German patsy who would be found to uh, take up the slack for the disappearance of Madeleine McCann. So as uh, my good friends on the McCann hashtag have uh, been researching over the last 24 hours, this is a story with many moving parts. Yes, Craig, MSM fell over themselves with this. They couldn't get out the door quick enough, could they, to say, no, we've got somebody who's been charged. Wrong. Our Guido basically gives the person, the official suspect, some, some kind of protection. And that is, it will enable Christian Bruckner's defence team and lawyers to be able to access the information that Portuguese police claim to have against Christian Bruckner. Others say this is about a statute of limitation. In Portugal, the statute of limitation for crime of this uh, kind would be 15 years. However, there is some confusion about it. It could well be that it, it, as Madeleine has never been found, either dead or alive, it could be that the statute of limitation hasn't even begun until the body is actually found. But there's lots of question marks over it. But that statute of limitation, if it was going ahead as normal, it would have it will end on May the 3rd this year, because that will be the 15th anniversary since dear Madeleine McCann was reported missing. So we'll keep you updated about that. As my friends have said, this is a story with many moving parts. So it could well be that by Monday we have, a, you know, a further, more in-depth update. So I shall keep you posted. The other thing I want to quickly say before I let in our reviewer is... Uh, According to a freedom of information request, this is just makes me so furious. I can't even, don't even know if I'll be able to say it without spitting. But uh, the SNP, obviously Nicola Sturgeon's party, have been forced to admit that there are no plans to hold an inquiry into football abuse, um, into child sexual abuse within Scottish football, which, as we know, is absolutely outrageous. There's there's a a, a case going through at the moment. Um, which involves a multitude of allegations that people have already been convicted. So it's absolutely obscene that Sturgeon's party won't be holding an inquiry. We know Sturgeon is part of the problem, absolutely part of the problem. She can't tell you what a woman is, for starters. So I'm really sorry. It's awful. These uh, survivors of Scottish football child abuse are just not being taken care of. They've been ignored by BBC in Scotland and mainstream media. It's really primarily been a lot of independent media that has been covering this, save for one or two Scottish papers. But for the most part, the whole issue of what's gone on at Celtic and perhaps other clubs is just, you know, been an absolute failure. And yes, boom, shine. Jerry McCann was actually at Celtic football. He was the club doctor for a period of time. That's absolutely true. Right. Let's get on with our review.